everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica. Today I have my Supernatural Pan Interrupted update for you. This is a little bit later in the month than it normally would be just because, you know, so many intros for January. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this orange look today. It, it almost feels like it's a little too pale um, for my eyes. I don't know. I just, I feel washed out maybe because I'm wearing like pale clothes too. I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it. Anyway, this project was started in 2018 with Amanda on August 19th of 2018 to be exact. We are attempting to go through every single episode of Supernatural that ever aired and pan a product for every episode. It's 15 episodes. It's a lot. It is a lot. I am currently on season four. I do have one product that is still from season three. It's one of those products that um, it's going to take a long time and it is what it is and I'm okay with that. So we're doing six at a time. Six is a very um, prominent number throughout the project, throughout the, um, the television show Supernatural. So that's why we chose six. And um, yeah, every time I finish a product or reach the goal it is going to be um rolled out new one's going to be rolled in there have been a bunch of people that have joined in they're going to be listed down below if you have joined into this project and i don't have you listed below definitely say something in the comments um i may might have missed you somehow um, because my life has been chaos for a while now and um, i don't get to watch as many videos as i would like to and i'm not as good on instagram as i probably should be so um yeah, if you're doing this and you're not listed below, I want to make sure you get into my description box. So definitely um, leave a comment down below and I will get you put into the description box. All right, let's get into this. I, of the six products, I am rolling out five this update, which is a little cray cray, I know. But um, I had a lot of usage stuff in this and um, I was able to finally meet my usage goals on some of them. We're going to start with the one and only product that is going to be in here. It has been in here for a while. It is, like I said, the last episode that I have from season three. That is for Time is On My Side. It's a doctor that's obsessed with eternal life and youth and stuff. So I have the Exuviance Age Reverse. This is a hand rejuvenating peel. And then um, this is like the rejuvenating cream. It kind of like neutralizes the peel. Um, I have used this a few times. I went from like this kind of bronzy shade down to the blue, which in retrospect was not a good shade to um, use, but I am making progress on it. It's just going to be slow going, but I am definitely using it more this time of year. I don't know why I even bother marking this one because um, this is going to be done before this is done. And I'm okay with that because I can just use the heavy hand cream and life is good. All right. Now everything that's rolling out, one of them, um, I don't have the empty packaging for it. It was an eyeshadow and I kind of um, repurposed or recycled most of my stuff that I finished last year. And that was one of those pans that I'm sure I have it somewhere, but um, you know, I have like, like a bin of pans. Like it's probably one of these pans here from all of my finished stuff last year. Suffice it to say, it did get done. All right, so wishful thinking. That is an episode that has a wishing well. Um, it does mystical things if you um, wish on it while it had the, the mystical coin in there. So I had um, ColourPop Mystical. It is basically a topper jelly much. I love this shade so much. I really should just pan it because it's so stinking gorgeous. Um, my goal was to use it five times. I did. I, I really wanted to keep using it even more, but you know. I got lots of other stuff I need to pan. For I Know What You Did Last Summer, there was um, references to angels throughout the episode. So I chose Bare Minerals Angel Food Cake. Yes, I know. Laugh, last time you get to laugh about that. Um, goal was five uses. I don't know if you can even see the, the color. I can swatch it for you. I absolutely adore this color. And again, another one I probably should be panning at some point right there. I love that one. I did spill just a tiny little bit on my desk, but I will clean that up after I'm done. Um, Heavenly Diamond. It is just like a shimmery, glittery champagne color. Again, five uses. That was for Heaven and Hell, Heavenly Diamond. Um, let's see. Um, 
family remains. It's, um, it's, they think it's a haunted house, but it's actually a family, an ancestral family. It has children, like, in, uh, children born out of incest and stuff. They're pale and creepy and, like, just a mishmash of, like, family genes pulled together over and over and over again. Um, that was my Franken Shadow, the one I don't have the pan for. It was super, super pale. I got that done before the end of last year. Um, I, I basically set my eye primer with it, and it worked out great. And then the last one, Chris, Chris Angel is a D-bag, because I'm not going to say that word again. Um... I chose, uh, if, if you are not familiar with who Chris Angel is, he's a magician, like he's like a famous mag magician. Um, I chose Essence. Um, this is the Fairy Wings and Magical Things, and it I chose the shade It's Magic. It is purple. wanted to use that five times, trying to not kill anyone with the glare. This one right here, I was able to use that five times. It's a very pretty shade. I just happen to be working on a lot of purples. Um, all right, so... Five rolling out, I need to roll five more in. And only one is going to be for usage. Everything else is going to be to finish. All right, first one is after school special. That is where um, Sam and Dean go back to their old high school and um, they're having issues with um, spirits and stuff like that. It all has to do with a bully. I don't wanna give like the whole episode away, but um, they basically had to um, come to terms with things that happened when they were in high school and um, all of the bullying issues and put the spirit to rest that was basically haunting a bus. And um, so they were able to do that. But um, I chose for that one the Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Lip Gloss in this um, shade Free Spirit because they're freeing the guy's spirit so that he can move on. And then um, Sex and Violence, that was an episode. Um, in this episode, there is a siren, um, like the mythical being siren that um, attracts men and gets them to do crazy things. In this episode, the siren was basically um, gathering all these men who were obsessed with her and getting them to kill their wives. It's a crazy episode, so because these men are obsessed with the siren, I have chosen the Calvin Klein Obsession Perfume. I want to use this five times. It is a good winter scent, but um, I am working on other fragrances this year, so I want to keep it minimal, but it just it fit the prompt way too well. So five uses on the Obsession. Moving on to Death Takes a Holiday. Um, I, I went very literal with that one, and I chose a holiday product. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel body cream from Bath and Body Works. I actually got it for Christmas from my husband and um, it's brand new. I haven't even, I don't know if it has a seal on it. No, it doesn't, but um, it has not been used yet. So I want to use that one completely up. Um, moving on to on the head of a pin. Again, I went literal with the title of this episode because sometimes that's just easier and uh since we're talking about head i wanted something for my head hair area and i am going to be putting in this soapbox argan oil conditioner i really like this one a whole lot curly girls it's uh, soapbox is a good brand if uh, you're not familiar with it check them out they are made in the usa cruelty free curly girl approved though i think one of their masks is not curly girl approved but it's good stuff. Um, and then the last one is It's a Terrible Life. Um, that episode is, <laughs> it's kind of an odd episode. It's where Sam and Dean, at the beginning of the episode, they don't know each other, even though like in real life, they are brothers. They are employees of a company. One, Dean is like a higher up and um, Sam is just like a worker bee type. And um, they both start noticing strange things, even though they don't know each other within the company. There, there are there are reasons for it, which come out later in the episode. But they don't they don't recognize each other, but they do recognize that there's some odd things going on. Um, they don't realize that they're hunters, that um, what they do or anything like that. They they're they're corporate people, and um, so uh, as these strange things are happening within the episode, um, like if an employee does something that's a little questionable, not necessarily horrible, but they made a mistake of some sort. They get called up to the 14th floor, and then when they come back, it's almost like they're in a trance, and they're really nervous, and 
they all end up killing themselves in one way or another. And it's all based on after they visit the 14th floor and they come back and they're just so stressed out that they've done something wrong. They've, they've wronged the company and it's, you know, catastrophic what they did. Like someone didn't do a great job on one of his reports, even though it was easy fix. Um, yeah, he ended up self-deleting, so to speak. And um, so it's all because they're so stressed out because they have wronged the company. So, I have chosen my product based on that stress that is put on them after they visit the 14th floor. And I'm putting in an essential oil blend. This is the Prime Natural Stress Relief. And um, I wanna use it all up. I think I've only used it a couple of times. Oh, it's very spicy smelling, I like it. It's kind of like almost masculine unisex, but earthy at the same time. I'm gonna enjoy that a whole lot. And I've been stressed lately, so, um, probably gonna help me a whole lot that is everything for this update sorry it's a little like scatterbrained um the wind is blowing there's a whole lot there's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now in my life and i'm just trying to like saw and keep it together if you know what i mean um definitely check out everyone else that has joined in they're going to be listed down below again if i have somehow missed you let me know in the comments i would love to come check out um your updates your intros anything that i may have missed already and i also want to get you in my description box so Put her down there. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.